This way, please. What the hell is that thing? The matriarch was generated from your grandmother's stem cells and sire DNA. She amplified Mira's ability to communicate with the locust. This device is where Mira first learned to control her power, but we can also use it to sever your link, if you choose. So how does it work? By mildly damaging your brain. What? By mildly damaging her brain? Her connection to the locust is based on a genetic algorithm inside her temporal lobe. Altering that requires anesthesia, you could say. It sounds like a lobotomy. A lobotomy is highly invasive. This is directed. While I work, the matriarch will guide your mind, undetected, to where it must go. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. no. You are not doing this. I do not trust this can. Then watch him. But I have to do this. I'm losing control. I won't hurt anyone else, understood? Understood. Me. My mother. 
She's alive. What? It, it wasn't really her, except... Except it was. Where is he? Emergency shutdown in effect. Come on. He went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Place in a deep freeze right before he bled to death. Good fucking riddance. Uh, Del? The matriarch is gone. Oh, I'm sure that's not gonna be a problem. Let's just find Niles. Come on. Niles is talking about? Later. After Every child needs a playmate. Have fun. No? I see it, I see it! <laughs> Let's take him down! Watch it! More 
Locked. There's got to be a way to open it. Maybe there's something Jack can do. Jack, see where that leads. Kate, more locusts are coming! Then hold them off! Hey, Jack! Don't take your time on this! Let's get after Niles. Time to go.
So then let's keep after Niles. Come on. Hey, Niles! We're still coming! I really don't think he can hear you. I really don't care! Let's get this open. that thing's mine? I don't know. I don't know who's... Del, more science! been done cannot be undone. This planet is now theirs. I told you I'd get you. Look out!
you want.
things better, but I made them worse. And you're sure what you saw was real? It was real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us somehow. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here. If they've really got their queen, and Nas is right about what happens next, we need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the Hammer of Dawn. Oh, thank God. Looks like you need a ride. How'd you find us? You think I'm gonna give you a one-of-a-kind piece of tech without the ability to track it to the center of the planet? Yeah, yeah, fine. And speaking of one-of-a-kinds, help me hook up this skiff. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks. Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still haven't. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, uh, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. <laughs> so, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the cog publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kinda triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. 
Or weak. Uh, uh, man, who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw on that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird. Ah, good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Done. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Show him what you got, Jack. Whoa, you figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long. They work. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of, uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor. They started making these. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but... Say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing. Could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. Training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. Bear, are we expecting anyone? No, we are not. Well, this can't be.
I don't believe this. I hope you're not here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? Okay, man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like... Like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, though. All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the Nomads could use some help, too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something. It's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected the whole military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Paddock said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. Appreciate it, Jack. Uh. Uh. 
They're done. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Let's get inside. Help me. So, where do we go? Place look huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Eh, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. Reckon there's even more bombs beneath all this sand. Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. 